and welcome back to my channel. I got a very special one for you guys today as I just got back from my trip to Red Rocks. For those that don't know, Red Rocks Amphitheater is one of the best, if not the best, concert venue in the United States, and King Gizzard did three shows there. Nights one and two were announced like two years ago, and they kept getting pushed back, and they finally got to happen in October. I think it was the 10th and the 11th nights one and two were. And then because those shows sold out, they ended up announcing a third set, which is the one that I got to go to. And in this video, I'm going to basically be dumping all of the videos that I took at the concert so you guys can see them. And there are timestamps down below in the description and comment section, so if you want to skip to a particular song, you can. Before I get into the Red Rock show, though, I do want to talk about my experience at the New York City show and the Philadelphia show that happened about two weeks ago. And again, if you just want to skip to the Red Rock show, just skip to this timestamp right here. But first, we're going to talk about the New York City show that was held at Forest Hill Stadium, New York. This was the first of three shows of the weekend. I ended up just going to the New York show and the Philadelphia show. There was a DC show on the Sunday, um, but my friend Clay and I, we were just like absolutely beat from the last two shows that we went to. And we had a long drive home ahead of us after that show. So we were just like, I think we've experienced everything we wanted to this weekend. And we kind of just bailed on that show. And it was extremely painful, like skipping a King Gizzard show like that. But honestly, in the end, I ended up being kind of happy I made that decision when I was in bed when that show even started. Going back to the New York show, though, this was about a five and a half hour drive from my hometown, Pittsburgh. Uh, it was my first time ever driving in New York City like myself, and it was a really fun experience. Alrighty, so we are on the way to Forest Hill Stadium in New York City. I got Clay from the Garden Goblin music video. He's helped me out with a bunch of videos on the channel. We are going to be seeing King Gizzard three times this weekend. This is our little our vlog of our adventures. So, uh, you know what? Driving's boring. Let's just uh, let's get to the show. All right, we are now in NYC. My first time ever driving in New York City. I'm now behind the wheel. Clay's in the passenger seat. And uh, yeah, we are on the way. Yeah, what'd you get? And look at this poster, dude. Look at this fucking poster. That is sick. Which test pressing? Sorry, I'm filming you. The quarters? He got the quarters, yeah, and and I got the KG and LW pressing. Sweet, both of them on one. Nice, freaking way to go, man! Clutched See? out. Video, you turn your head like. You, uh, so you probably couldn't actually do like. A video. Got a test pressing.
the New York show was absolutely incredible. We got the Garden Goblin, which is like my favorite song to come out by Giz this year. You know, I always love me some cookie. We also got the Dripping Tap, Iron Lung. It was just an absolutely phenomenal show. Uh, I didn't get a ton of videos of it because I kind of like to experience the concert. So I don't really like cognizantly think to keep taking videos, but I uh, hope you guys got to kind of get a glimpse of what the show was like based on the clips I took. Up next on the weekend was Philadelphia, which was held at Franklin Music Hall in Philadelphia, PA. And I actually ended up taking video clips of this show throughout the night, but we were right next to the speaker. So all of my videos like got blown out from the speaker and are muted. So uh, luckily for you though, if you want to experience the entire Philadelphia show, my latest upload is of the entire concert. My friend Clay, he just absolutely knocked it out of the park. He brought in a 360 camera and he recorded basically the entire show. So if you have a headset or if you just want to watch it on your couch, you can experience an entire King Gizzard show from our seats. It's just an absolutely incredible video and I cannot wait to relive this concert for years to come through this video. And to watch that video, you can click the like annotation kind of thing right here. Actually, it might be like up here or here. I'm not sure. It's like the eye icon. You can click that. It'll take you right there. And actually, I'm forgetting the absolute coolest part of the Philadelphia show. And that was that I got to meet the band. After the concert ended, Clay and I went into our cars. We just kind of chilled for like two hours, basically. And then we got out and went out to where the tour bus was and they came out. Not gonna lie, it was kind of surreal. Actually, it was very surreal. I mean, meeting them in person, uh, I ended up getting my poster signed, which I will show off right now, which is uh, really, really cool. It's the New York uh, New York poster, uh, the Gizverse Record Fair. I ended up having it on me, so I just went, and that's why I ended up getting signed, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, I'll make sure to post like a really cool picture of it so you can like get all the details, but I uh, got all the signatures. I got Jason Galea. I got uh, Lucas. Ambrose, or actually that's uh, that's Cavs, there's Ambrose, Joey, Stu, and Cookie. Uh, it was just absolutely amazing. I got pictures with them, which I'll also be having on the screen right now. Uh, just absolutely amazing. They are seriously so nice. Stu brought us a cake, which was really awesome, and I mean, I got to taste it. You don't, if, it, like when Stu brings you a cake, you don't not taste it. But yes, anyways, that was just absolutely incredible, really surreal, really fun. And I really hope I get to meet them again. It was just amazing. But anyways, guys, getting on to Red Rocks night three. Here are all the clips that I took accompanied with like kind of some cool B-roll shots that I got of, you know, like the Red Rocks itself. Uh, so enjoy. special moment of your whole entire life. <laughs> it's probably right here, right now. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Have you got any better than this? Can't. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, like I said, this song's called Digital Bike and we're gonna rock it out.
an incredible show. Head on Pill plus Am I in Heaven was probably the coolest moment I've had at any King Gizzard show this year. Just absolutely amazing. Head on Pill is like my third or fourth favorite song by them, so them opening with that song was just absolutely incredible to start set two. And of course we got Float Along, Fill Your Lungs to end it, which was the perfect song to end the three nights at Red Rocks. It was a great finale. We also got Digital Black, which that chapter of Murder of the Universe might just be my favorite. We also got Altered Beast 4 from Murder of the Universe, which was so fun. Uh, work This Time, Blame It on the Weather, uh, Her and I Slow Jam 2 from the Philadelphia show and from this show were just on another planet. Crumbling Castle, Fourth Color, just, it was the best show I think King Gizzard's ever done. Of course I'm biased, of course I'm biased, I got the shirt. I got uh, a poster, which I'll show on screen. I haven't gotten the frame for that yet, or else I'd show it off like in person, but uh, that's supposed to come tomorrow. But yes, if you were at the Red Rocks show, let me know what you thought. If you were at night one or two and three, if you were at all three of them, which ones uh, would you rank in order? I just can't think, I can't imagine night three being topped by any of the other ones. I mean, of course, like I said, I'm biased. But yes, guys, it was fantastic. I actually had a few people from all the shows that I went to this year recognize me from these videos so if you shouted me out when you saw me in person thank you so much for the support it was like insane whenever people recognize me from my videos I never ever could have imagined that would actually happen or anything like that so it was really fun getting to talk to some of you so uh, thank you for that and if you see me at any other shows feel free to say hi it makes my day but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed all the clips that I took at these shows uh, I know a lot of you haven't seen King Gizzard, whether they haven't come to your area, maybe unable to afford tickets, uh, etc. I hope you were able to watch these clips and kind of get a sense of what it's like to be at a show. Uh, just an absolutely amazing time. The people there were fantastic. The music was fantastic. The band, meeting them, that was so awesome. Red Rocks, just unbelievable. I could go on and on about the experience, but I will let it stop there. Uh, and thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Uh, now that King Gizzard is done touring, I'm not sure what else is going to come uh, this year, so stay tuned, and I will be there to cover it.
Oh, by the way, I'm going to be at the Murlocs show in Cleveland. I think it's like two weeks from now. I think it's like maybe November 14th or something like that. If you're going, let me know. Uh, Murlocs, Cleveland, it's going to be fun. Uh, and then I'm also going to be seeing Pond in Philadelphia on December 1st. So if you're going to either of those, let me know and I might see you there.